talking skin all week long, and today we're covering a very important topic we all need to hear about to stay safe outdoors this summer. It's skin cancer. Here with everything you need to minimize your risk is dermatologist and top medical influencer with more than 19 million followers. What? Dr. Maneeb Shah, welcome to the show. Hi. A medical influencer. Right, also a real doctor. I Good. know you're also a real doctor. I like that, but I like a medical influencer. All right, let's jump right in. What, do we, what are the main things we need to know? So it's the summer. This is when the UV index is the highest. This is when people are spending the most time outside. Right. So this is when you really need to be thinking about your skin and protecting mm -hmm. your skin. So let's look at the three main types of skin cancer that some meet people may encounter. And mm -hmm. One in four Americans actually right. will encounter. So the most common being the basal cell skin cancer we see over here. This is what we call pearly because you see the way that it's reflecting yes. light uh -huh. and those blood vessels you see in it. This is the most common and the least aggressive and this is actually the type of skin cancer that I had myself. So I have uh -huh. a lot of familiarity with it. I also remove them in the office. This is squamous cell skin cancer, second most common, second most aggressive form of skin cancer, can spread over the rest of the body and usually is more scaly. As you can see, if you rub your finger over this one, it's gonna have a little bit of texture to it. Mm -hmm. okay. Then melanoma, many of you have heard of melanoma yes. before. Mm -hmm. This is the most aggressive. It is the one that's pigmented. It's the one that if you have a changing mole, this is when you don't hesitate, you don't wait, you go see your dermatologist. It's got the irregular Exactly. On, yeah. And we'll walk through exactly yeah. what to look for in a melanoma a little bit later, but this is exactly what a melanoma looks like. This is the one, you don't hesitate, you go. So we all know about sun exposure causing skin cancer. What are other variants? So the reason why you hear about sun exposure is because it's the number one most preventable form right. of skin cancer. Because the other ones are genetic, so you have DNA mutations that make it so that you cannot repair DNA when it's damaged. Mm -hmm. You can get exposed to arsenic, you can have environmental exposures, maybe something in your products could affect it. But those things are unpreventable most mm -hmm. of the time. Mm -hmm. So it's really the sun that's most preventable and that's why we, you just hear about uh, sun protection, sunscreen from your dermatologist all the time. Okay, let's talk about how to identify skin cancer. Right. So when we look to identify skin cancer, the most common one we're gonna wanna identify is that melanoma. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's look through the A, B, C, Ds of melanoma. So and now there's an E. There's an E. There's actually another one is I want to talk about Is there an F, G, H, I, J, K? Oh my gosh. We'll call it the F, okay. even though it doesn't fit really. Okay. We'll make okay. it fit. So you have asymmetry, and this is when you take a mole, you fold it on itself, and it doesn't, it's, it, it's irre, it's, it has asymmetry to it. It Got doesn't it. fold perfectly onto itself. Right. And okay. you can see that one at the bottom is the, is the melanoma. Abnormal one. And that's the one that doesn't fold on itself. Okay. Then the borders, you see the first one on the top, very smooth borders. You can draw a line around it. This one, irregular borders. If you have something like this, you definitely want to get that checked out. Uh -huh. Color, this is when you're looking for color irregularity. So more than one color, some browns, some reds, some pinks. That's another sign you want to look for. Uh -huh. You see this one has multiple colors in it. Then you have the diameter. Anything larger than a pencil eraser, this isn't a really a good sign because you can have normal looking benign moles that are a little bit larger. Uh -huh. But if it's definitely evolving or changing, so a mole that's changing is the most important thing to look for. And the last sign, which is the, one of the most sensitive predictors, and it's one that everybody at home can also look at, is something called the ugly duckling sign. Uh oh. So that can be F. We can call it fugly. Okay, <laughs> fugly. If we want to yes. include it. Mm -hmm. And the ugly duckling is the, is the duckling that stands out, right? So mm -hmm. when you're looking at moles, it's the mole that just doesn't look like the rest of the moles that you have. It just stands out. It's the one that your family member looks at and says, you should probably get that checked out. And get then it you, checked out. You push it off, you push it off. Those are the ones that when people come in, so if anyone has that at home, that's the one I'm gonna encourage everyone to go in and get checked out. Great, okay. great. Hey, listen, you gotta take a break. When we come back, Dr. Shaw is telling us what we can do to prevent skin cancer. Very important. We're Dr. Dermatologist, Dr. Manit Shaw, telling us everything we need to know about skin cancer. What can we do to avoid uh, getting skin cancer besides like living indoors with the windows closed? <laughs> you can't do that. Right. So you have to be outside, and you should be outside. Just wear sunscreen in the morning. If you're out in the sun, reapply every two hours. Look for at least SPF 30. That's going to be the minimum that you want to look for. Broad spectrum, water resistant if you're out in the water. That's the best thing you can do. Of course, sun protective clothing, wide brim hats, mm. UV protective film on your glass, but those are overboard. Just sunscreen alone is make, enough. So ignore your children when they make fun of you for wearing all of your UV protective clothes in public. Exactly. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, what happens when a doctor tells you you have skin cancer? What, what are the next steps? 
So if, if you are told that you have skin cancer, you come in, we do this every day. Do not panic. Like, this is our MO. Every day, a lot of people think dermatologists, cosmetics, dermatologists, skin cancer. This is more than 50% of what we do. Mm -hmm. We would do a biopsy of it. That's taking a, a sample of it and a biopsy. Yes, we're showing this. We're showing this Very over interesting here. graphic. This is uh, an animation, which is good. Uh -huh. um, so we, we shave it off. First, we numb it. So you become completely painless. A very, 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 very small needle. Shave it off. We, take, we send a sample off. And once we know what it is, that's going to determine what we actually do next. Is it going to be a cream? Is it going to be a surgery? Is it going to be Mohs surgery? Mm -hmm. Whatever we do next is all determined by this biopsy. Got Great. it. And right. how, how soon do you usually get the results to that? Is it instantaneous? About a week, okay. a week okay. or so. Sometimes two weeks. Don't panic. They'll keep you updated, but less than a week at our office. Thank you, Dr. Great. Shaw. For more information, visit our website. We'll be right back.